Good morning. In this video, we're going to solve displacement problem from the book OpenStax College Physics. OK, let's take a look at problem one. Find the following for path A, the distance traveled. So this is path A, uh, magnitude of the displacement from start to finish, and part C asks for displacement from start to finish. Let's try to work on that. So for A, distance traveled. Essentially, distance is just how far is this, meaning what is the length of this path? So surely it starts from zero and at seven. I think it's clear from the figure that it is what? Distance is seven meters. Now for part B, instead of going to part B, let me go first to part C, which asks for the displacement. By the way, displacement, or in this case, we can call it delta x for displacement, change in the position, okay? Sometimes some books call this S, symbol for displacement. In this case, displacement is just essentially um, xf minus xi, or meaning final location minus initial location. In this case, final location at the tip of this, um, the arrow for a is around seven, right? Initial location is zero. So essentially, um, displacement will be seven meters. Okay, and for part b, part b is asking for the magnitude of the displacement. Most of the time, if the path is just purely straight line, the magnitude of the displacement is, is, is just what? It's just um, seven meters also. It will just be equal to the distance if it's in a straight line only. And we will see later that it's not always the case. Now for part B, I mean for part two, question number two, the same thing being asked. So let's go first directly to distance. Distance is essentially the length of this blue ray. So it starts at 12 and at 7. So I think we can see from there clearly that it's what? That will be 5 meters, right? 5, five meters. That's uh, 12 minus 7, or you can think about like that. For part C, uh, it's asking for the displacement. So displacement for that is just final location, which is or final position, which is 7, minus initial, which is 12. It's giving me a negative 5 meters. Negative five means that it is what? To the left of the original point, or you can call it like five meters to the left. This again, um, displacement is a vector quantity. It needs a magnitude five meter and a direction to the left. Or it's also sufficient to, to put a negative. Negative means towards the left in this case. For part B again, um, the magnitude of the displacement will just be the absolute value of the negative five meter, or it will just be five meter. I mean, that's the length. That's the length of that, the magnitude, okay? Never, regardless of the sign. Now for number three, okay, let's have number three here. Um, the the dis distance here, meaning uh, uh, what is the length of this, of this what? What is the length of this figure, okay? Not just what, from start to finish, but uh, the distance will account uh, the path, okay, the length of the path. So in this case, from C to this point, it's around 10, 8, 8 steps, right? So 8 meters. And then moving back by 2. So we don't we don't count this one. Uh, it's negligible. Uh, we, so going back 2 meters to 0.8, so that will be 2 meters. Okay, and going forward again by 2, so we'll have plus 2 meters. All in all, it will be 12 meters. Right, so the total distance of this um path C is 12 meters, so eight meters forward, going back by two meters, going forward again by two meters, total is 12 meters. So if we're looking for the what um displacement, so delta x, we just look into the final and the initial. Final position is 10, yeah, and initial position is is two. So this will just be eight meters, okay? Positive, positive eight meters, meaning to the right. And for B, the uh, the absolute value of the displacement is also just equal to. Never mind about the sine of delta x; it will just be eight meters. So now this is the reason that at sometimes the the absolute value of the displacement is not equal to the distance, and for other cases, it will be equal, as you can see from here, because the motion here is purely straight and not, there's no going backward and forward. If it's forward, it's like for part A, all forward, and for part B, all backward. 
the displacement and the, the magnitude of displacement and the distance are just identical. But if there will be like moving forward and backward at the same time, it will not be the case. And similarly for part D, let me use this one. For I mean for path D for number four, um this place a distance will just be what? Starts at nine, going to three, that's what? Six meters, right? Six meters plus um going a little bit from three to five, that's two meters. So total distance travel is eight meters for option question C displacement final position that is just at five minus initial position at nine so displacement will just be four meters and this is what negative four meters meaning it's like four meters to the left okay there's a negative and b will be what the absolute value of the displacement is just five i mean absolute value of delta x absolute value of negative four meters is just four meters so again here the distance eight meters but the absolute value of displacement is just four meters because there's what there is it's not just a purely one direction uh, path but it is coming back here as you can see from the drawing hope you are not that confused with that and see the other videos if you want to learn more thank you